Let's look at making a truth table for this statement. I have P or Q and P or not Q. So I can see that I have two uh, unique statements, P and Q. So I need two to the second or four rows. I've got four rows here. I want P and Q are my simple statements. So again, I'm going to start underneath Q and alternate, true, false, true, false. Now I'm going to go under P and double that, so two trues and then two falses. Now other things I'm going to need to complete this table, I'm going to need a P or Q, because I see that that's in parentheses. I'm going to need a not Q, so that I can figure out what P or not Q is. And then once I have those values, I should be able to figure out what P or Q and P or not Q is. Okay. In order to do some of this, I'm going to refer back to my truth tables that I have uh, on this previous page here, which we'll just peek at. So I've got the truth table there for negation, conjunction, and disjunction uh, all set for me to reference. So let's begin here. My first column I want to fill in is the disjunction of P and Q, so P or Q. Looking at this first row here, I have true or true. And if I peek at my disjunction table, it tells me that true or true is true. So I'm going to put a T right here. In my next row, I have true or false. So looking at my table for disjunction, true or false is here. And that table says that that is true. So I'm going to put a T right here. Now I have a false or true. Looking at my disjunction table, false or true is true. So I'm going to put a T right here. And in my last column, I have false or false. Looking at disjunction, false or false gives me false. So I'm going to put an F right here. Okay, just referring to that table lets me see what uh, I should put in this column. Now, for my next column, not Q, I just want to look at Q and do what? I want to switch its values. Okay, to do that, and this can be helpful if you are working on a piece of paper, you can draw a nice rectangle that you can see right through. Uh, sorry, <laughs> what you can do if you're using a piece of paper is just go ahead and cover up a column or any columns you don't need with your pencil or with an eraser or a piece of paper. I really just want to look at Q and not Q. I don't want to pay any attention to this column P or Q because it's not one that has to do with the column I'm making right now. So I'm set to go. I have true, not true is not a rectangle, but false. Not false is true. Not true is false. And not false is true. So now I have that table filled in. I can uncover my column I was ignoring and I'm set so far. Now the next column I want is P or not Q. So you want to ignore both of these columns and just look at this column for P and this column for not Q. So I have in those columns true or false. I can always refer back to my table. True or false is true. So I want to put a T right here. True or true, can peek, is right here. True or true is true. So I'm going to put a T right here. False or false, I can look. False or false is false. So I'm going to put an F right here. And then finally, false or true. False or true is right here. That's a true. So I'm going to put a T right here. And then I can uncover my other two columns. That one was black, I suppose. There I go. Now I'm ready to do my last column. Notice that my last column is made up 
of two of the columns I already have. It is P or Q, which I have right here, and then it is P or not Q, which I have right here, and then I want to use AND in between them. So to do this last column, I'm going to ignore this one, and really I'm going to ignore the first two, but those are at least out of my way. And I'm going to look at my column for, or my truth table for AND, my conjunction truth table. So when I'm trying to fill in this first spot, I see that I have true and true. Looking back at my truth table for AND this time, true and true is true, so I'm going to put a T here. Now I'm going to look at my second column. That has true and true as well. I'm just double checking my conjunction truth table. True and true, still true. So I'm going to put a T here. Okay, looking at the third row, I have true and false. True and false appears right here in my truth table. And that says it's false, so I'm going to put an F here. And then finally, I have false and true. So I'm going to go back and look. False and true is right here. The table says it's false. So I'm going to put an F right here. I can then uncover my not Q. And I have the full truth table for uh, P or Q and P or not Q. Now it's worth noting uh, just briefly here, and I know it's brief as a rough word to use after this long of a recording, but it's worth noting here that this statement that we made the, just made the truth table for is true exactly when P is true. In fact, it matches the column for P exactly. We'll talk about this a little later, but that means these statements are equivalent, and it means that I could have replaced that statement we just made this big truth table for with P. And if you get into circuit design and real applications of, of this in the physical world, that's where this can be really handy, where all this stuff kind of comes together. Is I can simplify this circuit that calculates P or Q and P or not Q just down to the circuit that has P. And that'll save me a lot of computation time, power, and cost.